Hello Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating a wood decorative wall decor piece with a shelf. Now in this tutorial, I will show you how to make this shelf in two different finishes to create a unique look for your preferred style. Now for your convenience, I provided a list of supplies and tools used to make this project in the description box below, as well as tutorials for those accessories that I use to decorate them. I'm so excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hey, hey, and welcome back to my fantastic subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now, if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that little bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into the project. Now for this project, we'll start with a pack of these long skewers from the Dollar Tree. We'll also need one 10 pack of these one gallon paint stir sticks from Lowe's for 98 cents. We'll also need a one by four by eight piece of wood from the Home Depot and this one was $1.98. And we will also need a one by two by eight piece of wood from the Home Depot for $1.18. And I'm only showing the sample end pieces of these because these are actually eight feet long. Now the first thing we're going to do is cut the wood pieces to size and we'll need two pieces cut to 30 inches. We'll need three pieces cut to 10 inches and we'll also need one piece of the larger one cut to 12 and 3 quarters inches. Now if you don't have a means to cut the wood, most Home Depot and Lowe's stores will do this for you at no charge. Now so for one version, we will be staining the wood so gather up your pieces including your paint sticks. Now I will be using my favorite Jacobian stain by Mimwax for this project. So when applying the stain, you want to stain the front and both sides of the wood. Now staining the back of these shorter pieces is actually optional and you also want to make sure that you stain both ends as well since they'll both be showing in the project. Now these cheap cuts really take stain well and have a great wood grain. Then we're just going to continue staining the remaining wood cuts and then you want to stain also the front and back of the shelf piece and also those paint stir sticks. Just make sure you stain the side that does not have the measurements. Now once everything is nice and stained, just set it to the side to dry. Now while that's drying, we can start on our second painted version of this shelf, so gather up all of your pieces. Now we're going to go ahead and cut off the paint stick handle right above that curve. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out my grid mat so I can make sure that the alignment of my pieces are nice and even. So go ahead and place your two 30 inch pieces horizontal and you want to add those three 10 inch pieces in between them. Now in order to place that middle piece right in place, just measure 10 inches from the bottom of that 30 inch piece and make a mark. And now just align the bottom of that center piece with the mark that you made. Now here I'm just making a quick check to make sure those paint stir sticks will fit. Now to adhere these together, I will be using this wood glue from the Dollar Tree. Now this will allow you some working time to adjust the pieces if needed. You just start by applying some wood glue to the end of those short pieces and just apply them into place. And then for the longer side, just apply wood glue as well and you want to attach it to complete the frame. Now to help with the bonding and speed up the process, I will be using these tension clamps to hold the frame together. You just want to place one of the tension clamps on each end and make any adjustments. Now once all your adjustments to your pieces are made, just go ahead and tighten that clamp as, as tight it, as it'll go. So while this is held in place, we're going to drill some pilot holes for screws to make this super sturdy. Now you want to add a pilot hole on the outside edge where each of the short pieces cross. So you'll have three pilot holes on each side. Now 
And then we're going to add our wood screws and I will be using some number eight two and a half inch screws. I'm going to start adding them by hand screwing them into place and then I'm going to drill it all the way in until it's nice and flush. And then repeat this for the rest of your pilot holes. Now once they are all added, you can go ahead and remove your clamps and everything is nice and secure. So now you want to go ahead and take your frame, flip it over and grab those paint sticks. Now we're going to lay those paint sticks across that bottom section nice and evenly. Now 10 sticks should cover the entire section. Now to adhere these, I'll be using my hot glue gun and the Sure Bonder wood glue sticks. Now you just want to apply some of that glue to the frame for the first stick and once that's applied you want to go ahead and place that stick on nice and even. You want to make sure that this stick is nice and straight. Then for every stick afterwards just apply glue to the top and bottom of the stick and apply it snug against the previous one. You do want to make sure that there's no gaps in between them when applying them. And here are all of the sticks secured into place. So now we can take that wider piece and we'll be applying this as the shelf. So we want to align this with that top edge of that bottom piece of the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the top edge of the shelf on the frame's sides. And then I'm going to flip the frame over and I want to draw a line with a ruler and I'm going to transfer that mark for that top edge we just made to the back so we'll know where the top edge of our frame is on the back and we're going to use that as a guide. So now you can apply a generous amount of hot glue to the shelf's edge and we want to carefully apply it to the front piece aligned with that top edge of the frame's bottom. Now you do want to let this completely dry. Now once it is dry, go ahead and flip the piece over and you do want to grab something to kind of support it because it will be a little higher than the other side. Now we're going to be applying three pilot holes across the back of the shelf using the pencil marking as a guide. Then to secure our piece, we'll be using three and number six, one and three quarter inch wood screws. And here they are all in place. So now that that's all done, we can go ahead and paint our piece and we will be using this white chalk paint, but you can use any kind of paint that you like. Now you just want to apply one nice coat of that chalk paint all over the frame and you want to be sure that you get the inside and outside edges and cover up those screws as well. Now you do want to make sure that you get all the crevices of the corners of the shelf area as well as underneath that shelf. And then once your piece is all painted, we just let this sit to dry. Now while this is drying, we can go ahead and prepare our skewers. Now we'll only need four for each of the shelves, so I'll be painting all eight of mine at once and I'll be using this black acrylic paint to paint these. Now you just want to apply a generous coat of that acrylic paint to each one of the skewers. Now once they're dry, here are all of our skewers ready to use. So now back to the wall piece is dry, we can go ahead and add a bit of aging to the frame and we're going to use a dark brown acrylic paint and with a fine tip brush I'm just going to randomly apply some markings to the edges and the corners to give it a little bit of a chipped and rustic look. And here is our piece after adding all the markings, you can add as many or as little as you like. Now once that is dry, we can start to add our accent design to the open center. Now so the first thing we're going to do is we need to mark the center on each side of the frame. 
So after measuring, it ended up being at eight and a half inches on my piece. Now go ahead and grab one of those skewers and we're gonna cut a piece to fit that opening with a pair of wire clippers. And once it looks like it has a nice fit, we're just gonna hot glue that skewer into place along those center marks that we made. Now on the top half, we're going to be cutting two pieces, forming an X in that space. And then we're just gonna hot glue one cross at a time. Now for that piece that crosses over, you kinda wanna lightly bend it so it curves over the first piece. Bamboo is really flexible, so this shouldn't be a problem. And then we're gonna repeat this for the bottom opening. So once both of these are done, we can start to add our smaller accent pieces. And for the top section, each we'll add a small piece to the right of each one of the X pieces. Now we just want to hot glue them into place and we want to make sure that the edge of the stick is even with the other one in that center area. We don't want them to overlap and stick out. We kind of want them to be even. Now for the next one, we're just going to follow that same pattern. And once they're in place, you just kind of want to make sure that they're all being applied at an even distance, about two inches apart. And then we're just going to repeat this process for the next two sides of the X. Now once the first section is done, we're just going to mirror this pattern in the second section. And then we're going to follow up with extra hot glue at all of those contact points. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of that black acrylic paint to all of those skewers ends that are exposed on those cut ends and also on the hot glue to all blend it in. Now, when the acrylic paint is added to the hot glue, it actually looks like welding, welding which looks a pretty cool, it has a pretty cool look on the piece. And here is our completed design. Now, all you need to do now is to add a picture hanger on the back. Now, by now, the stained wood should be all dry and you can assemble your second shelf. But well, the first thing we need to do is cut down those paint sticks just like we did before. And now everything is ready to assemble. And through the magic of video, here is the fully assembled piece in a stained version. I think that this turned out gorgeous. And now all we have to do is hang and decorate. And here are the two versions that we created. Now I think the left one has a sophisticated modern boho type of feel with natural wood. And the other one on the right has a sweet farmhouse look that is super cute and has a bright and welcoming appeal. Now I love that you can use the same design to make two completely different looks. Now you all have to let me know which version is your favorite today. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE -E on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you are subscribed by clicking the subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.